All right, here we go. Lynn Haven Bayou Park and Preserve. Huge tee boxes. I think there's two tee pads per hole. This is number one. You're not gonna get the tee box in this shot. Basket's over there. All right, boys. Looks like that's a tap-in bird. Walking up to one basket. Looks like a pretty new course. Um, you're in this like wetland, bayou, marshy-like environment. Um, doesn't help that it's raining right now. It's supposed to clear up though here in a few minutes. And I've got a putt over here for a birdie on hole one. That's gonna be a great start. I don't know, maybe not, maybe I'll miss it. That's what I get for trying to putt and film at the same time. Oh well. Bar number one. Okay guys, that was hole one basket. Hole one tee is way down there. Hole two basket is here. It's a forehand hyzer around these trees. Those that know me know I hate this shot. 322 feet. Three hundred twenty-two feet. That's not bad. Might have another look for bird. Okay. Flew in somewhere around here. I know I heard trees. Number two basket. Oh, I'm in these trees. Another tricky putt. Put my toe under it. Another tricky putt while videoing. Don't recommend it. <laughs> All right. Uh, another tap in, chained out putt. Uh, all right, here we go. Even through two, going to number three. Got a little bit of a hike now to find number three box. First time coming through here. It's a river over there, swampy stuff. Pavement's wide. It's supposed to be hitting birds on all these short holes. Maybe I can start ringing some in after this. Nice bridge. Coming around here. There's a tee box, looks like for 12. So yeah, definitely every two tee boxes shares a basket. It's probably like one big loop. 200 feet again. Let me set up the tripod. The basket is up there. Around the corner. I got through the trees. It kicked out, maybe something good came out of it. Not bad. Long putt for birdie here.
cash money, baby. I finally get a birdie while holding the camera. <laughs> so I'm walking from three to four. It's quite the hike, but it comes out to this parking lot. I don't, it's just amazing. Everything is so perfectly taken care of. Most of the holes are in the lagoon, like in the bio, like way back there in the trees and you can't see anything. You think you're like in the middle of nowhere. So there's hole 13. I'm looking for four. So this course, it, it keeps doing like a same basket, different tee boxes. So I think there's nine baskets and 18 tee boxes. So if that's a... 13 box, I'll bet four somewhere around here. Anyways, it's just like the most beautiful, well taken care of park. The bathrooms are like cleaner than the bathrooms at your hotel. Oh, boom, here's four. We'll see if I can video this one. But I gotta give you some videos of the jungle area as well. All right, there's a guy over there weed eating. He's cleaning up the basket. Maybe it'll be an easy forehand. Let me set up here real quick for. <clears throat> Don't see that basket. You guys zoom out a little bit. There's a guy down there. Hope I don't hit him. Park job. I'll see you on the next hole. Okay, we made it. 14 little hike. Back in the trees. So this is 14 box. Beautiful tee boxes. Over here is number five. Oh, filling some raindrops. Probably have to put up the phone. Number five. Basket way down there. Uh, 261, but I say way down there because it's in the trees. I'll try and set up a, a view for you guys. Oh, you see the box, see the box. Man, you, there's no view of the box really from here. I don't know if you can see, it's right there. And I got some rain. So this will be the last haul video for a while. 261, straight mid. Get around it. Close. Maybe get par. Probably get par. Time for an ace run. Number six, 95 feet. Shortest hole in the course. Oh, almost got it. Oh! So after nearly acing number six, 95 feet, I know. It's embarrassing, but all the other holes are like 200 to 300, maybe a little more feet. It's a short course, but back in the woods, trying to find hole seven. Luckily, GPS on the... Uh, U disc saves me to gets me in the right direction. Otherwise, I would be lost and never come back. Looking for number seven T box. I see a T box. Can a metal? Esta siete. Ooh, basket back here. Okay. Yeah. 193 feet. All right, boys, I had two lines. It's behind, it's behind this tree, 200 feet. 
Had backhand line hyzer up high, forehand hyzer up high. Smacked that forehand line. Uh, just have to show you the results because there's no way I could have videoed that. By the way, after this, I'm probably gonna only video for you guys on uh, holes that, uh, ooh, thunder. On holes that uh, you can see the basket from the tee box. Shit, boys, almost ace this. I don't know if you can tell how close this is, but that is a freaking tap in. Come all the way, all the way from up top up here. Do the old, the old double putt. Ugh. All right, here we are, par three, number eight, 282 feet. Basket, hyzer around those trees, easy driver. I don't think you'll be able to see the basket here, but uh, you can see most of the shot. Park, baby. Another bird. All right. Here we are. For the bird. It's kind of weird to putt and video at the same time. Boom. Number nine, par three, 186. Straight. Number nine putt. All right, here we are. Hole number 10. Par three, two, one. Basket is back there <laughs> around the corner. I'll throw just, just because. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm an idiot. Every tee box has back hangers. Just figured that out. I don't know if there's even a way to show you guys this hole here we go oh that's looking real good that's real good be right on it yeah so the box is way back there it's a basket big kaiser got a chance another bird All right, boys, number 11. <sighs> Straight as can be. Maybe a little Anheuser on this drive. 226 feet, though. I don't even know if you'd be able to see us both. Pin high. Okay, T box back there. Kept it pretty straight. It hyzered at the end. Luckily, this tree saved me. I'm in the, I'm in the woods. <sighs> Again, I'm gonna try to play with one hand and not uh, give you guys bad video. It's tree, par, par ensuing. Par. Oh, 
would have loved to make that one, but too much trees. As we hike to 12, I just want to show you guys the view here. Look at this beautiful marsh. There's a river back there. They have all these nice pavilions, trash cans. Uh, walking on these roads, decent. Beautiful bridge upcoming. Hopefully I don't run out of battery or space on my phone. <laughs> Just look at that, it's amazing. Wish I were here. Wish I could play with my DG bros. Shout out to Juan, Marco, Milton, Steve, Jeff, Joaquin, Ethan. Shout out to all my DG bros back in Stephenville. Wish y'all were here with me in Florida. Here we go, number 12, par three, 239. Big tee box, crack in the middle. I know where it is, it's back there on the left. Um, you just have to trust me on this one. You're not gonna be able to see a darn thing. Be our back. Key box is back there. I'll do straight under this tree. It's 240. Came up and over this uh, leaning tree. And I know I'm left of the basket. That Enigma likes speed, and I didn't give it speed because it's only 239. But I'm in here. Somewhere. Help me find it. Ay, 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 where are you, disc? Oh, no. Got to be in that thick stuff. Be right back. Okay, boys. <laughs> Found the disc. Just long. Down there. Deep, deep jungle. Uh, not gonna video this one. Gotta go in there and get my disc and throw some sort of scooter. Scuba. All right, boys, you're in luck. I think I can get my foot under. Uh, yep, foot is there. We are legal. Foot is behind the best the disc. Can't believe I'm doing this. Gonna throw upside down one of these close oh it's good to be out of that it was nasty tap in par number 12 okay number 13 par 3 162 straight this is that forehand earlier uh this seems a lot easier hole straight on back in Tapping bird. <sighs> nice view. Okay, here we are, number 14, par three, 313 feet. Basket's back there, tucked away behind the trees. If you can see it or not, but we'll try that. Come on, be good. Give him part of the tree. Oh, yeah. That's real close. All right, guys, here we are, 300 feet later, pretty much parked. Straight hyzer crosswind from down there. Let's see if I can make the putt holding my phone again. Okay, number 15, 101, near ace earlier on the same basket. Let's see if we can toss one in here.
Well, sorry guys, that's what you get uh, having a makeshift uh, tripod. And I'm not gonna go back and redo that throw. That wouldn't be right. I'm parked, I ran it. Um, no chains, no basket this time. But tap in here for bird. All right, boys, this is a 16 par 391 feet. This is the one earlier I threw a Sky forehand hyzer, parked it, um, but this time it's gonna be a backhand mid. And I even got this stomp from the ground over there to make a homemade tripod again for you. Straight as can be. That's gonna be a par. Oh, lightning warning. Um, I don't know, maybe I can make this for bird, probably not. Ugh. Tap in bird, see ya. Correction, that's a tap in par. All right, coming in to number 17, shooting 10 down. Beautiful Florida, outside the city of St. Andrews. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully I can birdie out these last two holes. If not, still having a good time out here in Florida. For those of you watching, Thanks for watching, and uh, this is my first uh, vlog of a round. Luckily, it's on a cake course, so I look half decent. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll do some more of these. But I definitely need some of my DG bros to come with me to help with camera action and angles. Because doing this alone, as you can see, camera's falling off the, the, the pod. <laughs> Uh, homemade stumps from low angles or even some holes no angles at all um, It's the best I can do. I'd like to do better Especially if I travel out more and, and play more uh, A little bit about the disc I'm throwing Throwing Enigma Made by Dismania. It's Evolution Plastic Evolution Neo. It's 12 speed A lot like the Destroyer To me, it's a little more understable. I've got the money stamp Paul Macbeth Buzz. It's a mid-range, five-speed. Uh, literally goes anywhere you throw it. And um, then my classic soft judge. Um, that's all I throw on those is the classic soft beat-in putters. All right, here we are to 17. All right, number 17, par three, 397 feet. Straight, way down there. The basket is that little speck right there. Let me do this. The basket is that little speck right there. Let's see if we can get it. Probably gonna have to hope for par on this one. Found my disc, way over there in the white sand, you can't even see it, is the basket. I'll throw a, I'll throw this forehand, forehand turnover, forehand hyzer, whatever. <clears throat> Hopefully it's close. All right, I was doing a forehand turnover to that. It hit here and cut to that. So, likely taking Vogue on this one. Okay, bogey free round's gone for four. Quick catch up, 
Threw a player B back there on 17 with my mid. I'll uh, I'll cut that into the video so y'all can laugh at me, but it's gone in the trees. It's gone, gone. Uh, that stuff is deep in there. I looked for about 20 minutes. I didn't find it. Um, luckily, player A there was half decent, and I was able to come up with bogey. But player B, she's a goner. Paul Macbeth mid money stamp buzz rest in peace hopefully you find a new home number 18 par 3 129 feet ace run let's check it out <laughs> Sorry guys. Try again. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, for par on 18. That'll work. <laughs> 